In the charming town of Meadowbrook, a young man named Alex lived on the surface. His life seemed perfect. He had a loving family, a stable job, and friends who admired and respected him. However, deep down, Alex knew he was merely going through the motions, living a purposeless and passionless life. For years, Alex had followed the path. Society had laid out for him graduate from college, get a job, climb the corporate ladder all the while ignoring the gnawing feeling of emptiness that plagued his soul. He tried to numb the pain with distractions, long nights at the office, weekends spent binge-watching TV shows, and the occasional drink to take the edge off. But no matter how hard he tried to ignore the voice of discontent, it continued to whisper in the recesses of his mind, a constant reminder that something was missing. It wasn't until he met an old friend by chance that Alex's wake-up call finally came. Sitting across from him in a cozy cafe, his friend Sarah looked him in the eye and asked the question that would change his life forever. Are you happy, Alex? Sarah's question took Alex aback. He hadn't stopped to consider his happiness in years. However, as he looked into her honest eyes, he realized he couldn't longer ignore the truth. Reluctantly, he admitted that he wasn't happy. This marked the beginning of his journey towards self-discovery. Over the coming weeks and months, Alex embarked on a quest to uncover the true meaning of happiness and fulfillment. He started by reassessing his priorities and taking stock of what mattered. He let go of the long hours spent chasing promotions and pay raises, and instead focused on nurturing his relationships with family and friends. He savored the simple pleasures of life that money could never buy. Alex also rediscovered his passion for music. He dusted off his old guitar and lost himself in the melodies and lyrics that had once brought him so much joy. With each strum of the strings, he felt a sense of peace and contentment wash over him, reminding him of the power of creativity to nourish the soul. However, the most profound change came from within. As Alex peeled back the layers of conditioning and societal expectations that had weighed him down for so long, he began to uncover a sense of purpose and meaning that had eluded him for years. Alex volunteered at a local homeless shelter, serving meals to those less fortunate and listening to their stories with an open heart. He practiced yoga and meditation, learning to quiet the outside world's noise and connect with his innermost self. He pursued his long-held dream of traveling the world, immersing himself in new cultures and experiences that expanded his horizons and enriched his soul. As he journeyed further down the path of self-discovery, Alex realized that happiness was not a destination to be reached, but a journey to be embraced. It was found not in pursuing external validation or material wealth, but in being present and fully alive in each moment. Armed with a newfound purpose and passion, Alex set out to live his life to the fullest. He embraced the beauty and wonder of the world around him, grateful for the gift of life and the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of others. He realized Life was too short to waste on anything less than living fully and authentically, with purpose, passion, and joy. When people tell you, don't waste your life, they encourage you to make the most of your time on Earth. The phrase implies that life is short, and you must use your time wisely and purposefully. People may advise you to set meaningful goals, pursue your passions, take risks, and try new experiences to avoid wasting your life. They may also suggest avoiding activities that don't contribute to personal growth or happiness, such as excessive screen time, unfulfilling jobs, or toxic relationships. Ultimately, the message behind don't waste your life is to live with intention and purpose, 
create a meaningful and fulfilling life, and make the most of the time you have on this earth. They mean exactly what they say, don't waste your life. This straightforward statement holds a lot of truth. No one should waste their life. We must take this message seriously. Each person is tasked with giving purpose to his or her life. This is a personal belief that many individuals share. It means we are responsible for finding purpose and meaning in our lives. To work doggedly for a purpose higher than yourself with your natural talents. This means we should use our natural abilities to work tirelessly towards a bigger purpose, something greater than ourselves. This is dependent upon your circumstances. However, finding a purpose and working towards a greater goal is subjective and depends on our unique circumstances. Life is unpredictable and full of uncertainties. So people often say we should live now. However, no matter how much we plan and work hard, life can still throw unexpected challenges. That's why embracing every moment and making the most of it is essential. Instead of waiting for the perfect time to follow our dreams and passions, we should act on them now. Whether telling someone we love them, trying something new, or taking a risk, we should seize the opportunity and do it now. Life is too short to waste time thinking about tomorrow or planning the perfect life. Remember, life isn't perfect, but moments are. So, let's live in the present, cherish our moments, and make every second count. Don't fool yourself into thinking that you must do extreme things to feel accomplished. It's pointless to jump from one task to another so that you can tick them off your list and brag about them later. We often spend money on things we don't need, party excessively, indulge in risky activities, travel to new places, and switch jobs frequently. But these actions don't significantly change us. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a list of things you want to do before you die. However, it's crucial to understand that you can lead a fulfilling life without one. Don't put unnecessary pressure on yourself to complete things on a list. It's not worth it. After all, your life is not a mere advertising slogan. Money is undeniably essential. It allows us to survive and thrive in modern society. However, we must recognize that we often give money more power than it deserves. We let it dictate our life choices and priorities, which can lead to an unfulfilling existence. While financial stability is necessary, finding balance and not letting money consume our lives are equally important. Living a fulfilling life is possible without being a slave to money. Video games, Reality TV surfing the internet, overeating, and excessive drinking. These are just a few examples of how we spend our time. It's important to look seriously at our lives and evaluate whether our habits serve us well. Are they leading to a better life and a brighter future? If not, we must reconsider our routine activities and make changes. I often encounter individuals who feel overwhelmed by life and they never hesitate to share their complaints with me. If you're one of those people, it's essential to understand that negativity doesn't change anything. Instead, it keeps you stuck. Instead of focusing on the negative aspects of your life, try to shift your thoughts to what you appreciate and are grateful for. This will help you cultivate a more positive outlook and bring about positive changes. It reminds us that time is limited and that we should maximize every opportunity. It is entirely up to each person to decide how they want to spend their time and what that means. You are being lazy. You are not doing anything productive. You are not listening to the good advice given by your parents or elderly ones. You do not love the job you are doing. You are spending your time on unnecessary things. Remember to like, 
share and subscribe for more content. Thank you.